Delhi on Friday reported 4,086 fresh cases, its highest spike in 35 days. On Thursday, it saw 3,882 cases. Except on October 19, the capital has been reporting over 3,000 cases daily for the last 10 days, sparking concerns of a second wave as the festival season sets in. The numbers are worrying, especially when national COVID figures have shown a remarkable decline. On Friday, India saw a marginal improvement in its COVID-19 numbers. 54,366 new cases of COVID-19 were reported from across the country on Friday, while on Thursday, the figure stood at 55,839. In a boost to global coronavirus vaccination hopes, a study has found that the COVID-19 vaccine spearheaded by Oxford University builds strong immunity to the virus. As a front-runner in the global race for a vaccine entered final phase 3 clinical trials, researchers at Bristol University carried out tests to check whether it was behaving as intended. The Bristol team found that the vaccine was successfully able to instruct human cells to copy the genetic instructions to create the spike protein. The study confirmed that large amounts of the coronavirus spike protein are produced with great accuracy and this goes a long way to explaining the success of the vaccine in inducing a strong immune response. Sarah Gilbert, who leads the Oxford University vaccine trial, praised the study for helping explain the vaccine's effectiveness. The Serum Institute of India is readying 1 billion doses of five different vaccines against COVID-19 across the world before the end of 2021-22, a report has said. Adar Poonawala, CEO of the world's largest vaccine maker by volume, said his company plans to launch at least one vaccine every quarter, likely by the beginning of next year. These will include Covishield, Covovax, Covivax, Covivac and SII Covac. Covishield, which is being developed by Oxford University, in collaboration with drug maker AstraZeneca is currently undergoing phase 3 of clinical trials in India among nearly 1,600 people. Serum Institute of India has partnered with AstraZeneca to manufacture the vaccine candidate which is expected to be launched in the first quarter of 2001. An immunization is expected to start by January if clearances are given early. The BJP unit in Jammu and Kashmir on Friday demanded the arrest of People's Democratic Party Chief Mehbooba Mufti for her seditious remarks wherein she said she would only hold the national tricolour when the flag of the erstwhile state is restored. In an act seen as defiant, the flag of the erstwhile state was prominently placed on a table in front of the PDP president as she addressed reporters for the first time since her release from the 14th month detention following the abrogation of Article 370 in August 2019. The BJP said no power on earth can either hoist the state flag again or restore Article 370. JNK BJP President Ravinder Rana told reporters that Governor Manoj Sinha must take cognizance of seditious remarks of Mehbooba Mufti and put her behind bars. For telling the result of the Assembly elections and the future of Bihar, RJD leader Tejasvi Yadav while addressing a rally in Hiswa said that his father Lalu Yadav will be released from jail on November 9th and the next day, November 10th, will be Nitish Kumar's farewell. November 10th is the counting day for Bihar Assembly elections. RJD Supremo Lalu Yadav is currently jailed for corruption and his bail plea will be heard on November 9th, which is also Tejasvi Yadav's birthday. No November to Lalu ji ka riyai hoga. No November to mera janam din bhi hai. Aur 10 tarik ko Niti ji ka vidai hai. 22nd of October saw the final presidential debate between Donald Trump and his Democratic challenger Joe Biden before the election on November 3rd. Some moments from the debate that have gone viral gave rise to a meme fest on the internet. From the debate's all-new mute button to President Trump calling New York a ghost town, we bring to you a roundup of some of the most noteworthy memes that the internet came up with. Hansel Mehta's scam 1992, which narrates the rags to riches story of stockbroker Harshad Mehta, has become number one show on IMDb. Scam 1992, the Harshad Mehta story has grabbed number one spot on IMDb's top rated TV shows list with a 9.6 out of 10 rating. The show has zoomed past some of the iconic series such as Breaking Bad, which has 9.5, Chernobyl, which has 9.4, and Game of Thrones, which has a 9.2 rating. 
Scam 1992 is premiering on OTT platform Sony Live. For the first time in the history of record keeping, the main nursery of Arctic sea ice in Siberia has not started freezing yet, and it's already late October. Climate scientists have attributed the delay in the annual freezing to a freakishly protracted warmth in northern Russia and the intrusion of Atlantic waters. This could pose a risk across the entire polar region. If greenhouse gases continue to rise at the current rate, the likelihood of first ice-free summer in the Arctic will continue to increase.